So you may have a couple of questions. One would be, why haven't we posted a video in a while? And the other one would be, why are Dave and you, me, in a forest? <laughs> so the first answer is simple. Uh, we've been so busy doing pretty much back-to-back -back installations that um, we haven't had time to get any videos together. The second is we've been doing a fair amount of traveling. So I've been off to America, I was in um, Carson City, Nevada, then LA, back to Perth, and now we're in a forest in New South Wales. That's uh, Dave following behind me. Hi. And we've been sent over here to build yet another cinema. And uh, we've decided to walk to work and we ended up in a forest, as you do. So what we'll do today is I'll show you the site, we'll have a look around the room, and we'll talk about some of the pros and cons of this particular installation. And, uh, you know, maybe learn a little bit more about building cinemas. So I hope that answers the first two questions, and I'm sure by the end of this video, you'll have a few more questions for us. But thanks for joining us again, and uh, Dave and I will uh, see you in a little while, once we make it out of here. Did you bring a compass? No. No, no compass. All right, talk to you soon. So about 20 minutes later, we've emerged from the jungle or forest and we're here in Mumble Street in the town of, what's that? Um, Somewhere. In New South Wales. And we'll shortly be arriving at the house and then we'll get to see some of the project. Now this is day four. four day four of the project so we've completed most of it today is sort of the electronic polish off some networking issues some calibration um, but I'll take you on a bit of a tour around the room and show you some of the things and the challenges that we faced and and uh, some of the things that happen when you know you have to work with with trace people as well and sometimes some of the communication um, barriers you might say but overall it, it's a great little project. We've got Priscilla P8s at the front. We've got what P5Vs yep. around the side. We've got P5s in the ceiling. We've got Parasound amplifiers. We've got a Trinov Altitude 16. We've got a MadVR NV Pro. And what else have we got? And the Barco Bragi projector. So overall, oh, and an SI screen. So good little project and uh, uh, it's looking pretty neat and it's certainly changed from day one. Here's a photo from the first day when we arrived and you can see, you know, how it's progressed. Uh, there's always quite a, an interesting change. Anyway, we've got to turn up the street here and we'll be arriving on site shortly. Okay, so here we are. We've arrived at the house. It's still very much a construction zone, as you can probably see. Um, but I'll just take you up here. Come for a bit of a walk with me. So we're moving up here. And there's a double seal entrance into the cinema. And the cinema is probably one of the first places actually finished in the, in the entire building. I think the gym's finished, but that's about it. Okay, so you can see the doors still to be painted. But we've been here for four days, and when we arrived, as I said to you earlier, the room was, well, it was just black. That's all it was. And uh, the cables had been run. And so we've been here four days. We've been putting up the acoustic paneling, installing all the electronics, uh, and doing all the calibration. So I'll run you through what's here. We've got a rack at the back of the room. I don't know if you can see that behind me. So here we go. Uh, the client supp supplied the rack. That was his choice of equipment. And on there, we've got um, three Parasound A52 Plus. Um, so they're all five channel amps. We've got a Thor smart power station sitting there we've got um a panasonic uh a ub i think it's the 900 blu-ray um there's a nintendo switch we've got um a 16 channel um ethernet port switch and we've got control 4 then we've got the mad vr nv pro and we've got the uh, trinov altitude 16. now they've all calibrated up really really well so, um, we spent a lot of time on getting the acoustics in this room right, and it sounds really terrific. In terms of uh, what's driving it, behind the screen, this is an SI screen, um, so it's a woven screen, and behind it are three Priscilla P8s, 
um, mounted in an acoustic baffle wall uh, behind there. We're running four uh, REL 1508s. And uh, so there's two there, and then there's two that actually calculated really nicely uh, there. So I don't know if you can see that in here um, below these DC3 panels. Now, these are DC3s, not DC2s, believe it or not. So these are the new ones. Um, now, we've got uh, Priscilla P5Vs mounted inside of these panels. So here and on the other side of the room, and we've got another pair for the left and right surrounds there. We've got the P5s in the ceiling and we've got two more P5 Vs at the rear and two more P5s for the final Atmos, so six Atmos. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the bed layer, six in the Atmos, four in the subs, and this room sounds amazing. It absolutely sounds amazing. Sorry, getting a bit excited there. Uh, we spent a long time calibrating up the projector. The projector is the Barco Bragi, uh, and it's the CS, so it's the native CinemaScope, obviously to match the CinemaScope screen that we have here. Um, seating distance is 3.7 meters, and uh, the picture is astounding. I don't know, I'll see if I can put something on uh, that you can look at. Let's see what we can do here. Takes a few seconds. Uh, now, the electricians ha still have to finish off some work on switches and things like that. So, right. I don't know if you can see this, but the colors on the screen are absolutely phenomenal, right? Just absolutely to die for. We've got pretty much full DCI P3, and of course that's being tone mapped and managed really nicely by Mavyar NV Pro. So there you go. Um, I'll see if we can get some content on. I think... Uh, let's see. Let's go with Bohemian Rhapsody. Now I'm muting this, and the main reason I'm muting it, if you can see me, is because um, obviously we get copyright strikes every time I play music in the background. Okay. So hopefully you can see that. The picture is just astounding. <laughs> So we spent all afternoon calibrating this image up and we're using a Jetty Spectraval 1511 high res. Um, so it's a super accurate machine and we calibrated it within the Barco and then we ran the calibration on the Mad VR as well. So really, really happy with the outcome. I just think it's spectacular. Like I said, I'd like to play some music, but every time we do, we get a copyright strike. So it's kind of hard to manage. And besides, you're not going to hear this. Um, let's see. Hang on. We've got 16 channels. So uh, there are 15 channels running in here uh, off the Trinov, um, but a total of nine and six. That's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 speakers running in this room, if I've done that right. So... There you go. Um, now, just I'll get some lights back on. One of the challenges is working with other people and making sure communication is right. So, unfortunately, we sent instructions through and through good old Chinese whispers, sometimes those instructions don't make it. So, we had a few uh, challenges. There was no Ethernet run to the projector originally, so we had to sort that out. Uh, they ran Ethernet to the subwoofers instead of XLR cables. XLR is probably also known generically as microphone cable, so it's two core and shield, um, but they did run um, some uh, coax, so we were able to use the coax for the subwoofers, which was great, but not the XLRs. Um, the other thing is that sometimes uh, things aren't always quite as you expect, so for example, the building dimensions that we were given for the room design that we did check on um, turned out not to be the dimensions of the room, so in construction we'd already measured out everything, and so on site here we had to recalculate a lot of stuff to make the room work. Um, but that's what you do, and, and that's what we're good at, and so we just spent a lot of time making this right. The interesting thing is you never know how a job's going to come out at the end. And I think this is probably, you know, uh, I've done a couple of jobs recently where I've said to customers, this job is punching above its weight. Um, I don't know that this job is punching above its weight because of the equipment in here. It deserves to punch up there. It's, you know, with the Barco Bragi, with the Mad VR, with the Trinov, with the Priscilla's, with the Parasounds, it should be punching right up there. Um, 
but this room is doing everything super, super well, like super well. Uh, so the acoustics uh, has been fantastic. The um, uh, calibration that we got on the Trinov is pretty much to die for. I'm super, super happy with that. We didn't have to do a lot of customization to, to the uh, Trinov, which often we have to do to sort of make the room more, I guess, uh, pleasing. Um, but in this case, I'm really, really happy with the, the Trinov effectively uh, and its out-of-the-box room calibration. Um, it also targeted all of the speakers correctly. Sometimes it has problems identifying the source and its location and knowing accurately where a speaker is due to things like uh, reflections and uh, secondary impulses and, and things like that. So there you go. There's only a couple of things to do. We've finished in the room. There's obviously some construction work still to go. The air conditioning's got to go in, doors got to be painted, but that's up to the client to finish. Um, there is a lighting puck that needs to go in for control four. We can program that remotely, um, but we've stress tested the system all day and we're super, super happy with it. So look, I hope you enjoy this room. It's certainly stunning. And, um, you know, thank you for joining me in here. And, uh, oh, by the way, we've got the row one seats as well. So talk to you soon. So about 20 minutes later, we're nearly there. We're currently in Mumble Street in the town of, what was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Try again. No, because I wasn't going to give away the suburb. Oh, okay. Right. That's all right. That's cool. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs>